Hello, my name is Jeremy Lickness, and I'm a huge fan of .NET Core. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a .NET Core web project on Linux and then deploy it to an Azure web app that's based on Linux. I'm in my Bash shell, and I've already installed .NET Core. So what I'm going to do is make a directory, change to that directory, and create a new project based on the MVC template. The next step is to restore any packages. And finally, we'll run the application to make sure it's working correctly. Be sure to note the path URL and port number that it's listening on, because we'll use that to test the website. I've opened my web browser, so I'm going to paste that URL into the web browser. and we confirm that the site is up and running. The next step is to create a place for us to publish the app to. I'm going to use the Azure command line interface because this is consistent across platforms and is available, for example, as a Docker container. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a resource group. And this is really just a set of related assets for the application. So I'm going to create that in the Western US location. Next, I'm going to create an app service plan. The app service plan describes how our app service is going to be scaled. It relates to billing. It also relates to the operating system that it's based upon or the platform. So I'm going to put it in that resource group. I'm going to name it my Linux plan. I'm going to indicate that it is a Linux plan and put it in the same location. We can see that the plan successfully provisioned. Now we're going to create the actual web app. We're going to use the web app create, give it a name, and this needs to be unique across Azure websites. We're going to point it to the plan that we just created, and we're going to give it the group name. Now that this is created, we can go ahead and configure it. Give it the name that we just passed and the resource group, what we want to give it is the .NET version and the startup file. Which is just going to call into the project that we create. Now that that's configured, we have one more step before we can get ready to deploy our application. I'm going to capture a variable. And what I'm going to do is set the deployment source for this web app to local git. So that means I'm going to use git to push my files and deploy them. So I give it the name of my app. I give it the resource group. And then I tell it that I want to query the URL that Git can push to in order to deploy changes. And I'm outputting it as a, a tab separated value. So we'll go ahead and run that. And now that it's run, we should be able to view it like that. You can see we have a configured endpoint. Now that we've defined our app service and we have a way to deploy to it, let's go ahead and deploy. First thing we're going to do is run publish for our .NET Core project. Next, we'll navigate to the directory that it was published to. And we're going to initialize a Git repository. We're going to add all of the files. And then we're going to commit those files. That's a lot of files to commit. Let's set up our remote endpoint. This is the endpoint we got back from our configuration earlier. So we can just use our variable URL. And then finally, we'll push using that alias up to the master. I'm going to enter a password because I set up deployment credentials. You may have to do this through the portal UI.
And you can see that Kudu took over. This is a utility that helps with the deployments and went ahead and published it. So the last step is to verify that our app successfully made it to the cloud. Let's go see. I've got my web browser open. I'm going to paste in my app name .net. And we can see we've successfully deployed my MVC to our cloud web app service.